And a good day, everybody. Sean Henderson, Pierre, the Beverage Ramble, back again with you. Another rambling edition today. We're looking at Brown, Broad Street Brown from the Black Warrior Brewing Company. Um, another brewing, another beer company in based in Tuscaloosa. Many fine beers coming here in the state of Alabama. It's my first time trying this beer or trying this uh, this brand and first I'm trying ever, anything from this uh, brewing company so it is a brown ale um, special roasted and extra dry barley combined with three kind of hops to give this brown ale the perfect blend of bitterness and malt 5.4% ABB Here's what the beer looks like. Just recently updated my phone, so, and got my bus ticket to go to Georgia, so I'm kind of excited about that. So I'm gonna have to make some drastic changes, hopefully. It'll be a short trip, a fun trip, but a short trip, so. Not too bad looking, very frothy, very malty as you can see. Hmm, it has a scent of Definitely strong malt flavor. One of the type of hops that they use, one of their centennial mosaic type hops. Not bad. Here we go. Very, as we see, a lot of foam up top. So. Hmm. Definitely that bitterness. It has a bit of a coffee taste after definitely bitter in a good way not bad good very good uh, mild and i mean very low mild sweetness in this beer but hmm. too bad brown ales probably go good with uh, a stew anything nice a nice grilled meat you know a stew comes to mind um, uh, shots over no, shots, I'm gonna do shots over you know, let me do a nice uh, Shepherd's pie, meat pie, you know, beef pot pie, something like that. That's what this would, would go good with. Mm, really nice and for, very flavorful. Uh, yeah, like I said, Blackwater Brewing Company. Never heard of the company again. First time I picked this up the other day at Rouse's. I uh, paid a little more than what I needed to for this can. The price has been going up a lot, um, when I, especially when I go there. Um, it was two forty nine dollars a can. Yep, two forty nine for this can. So I'm like, uh, I don't know for that. But I said, look, let me just kind of get back into the routine of doing beer reviews again. It's been a while. So there, there you go. So also get a very nutty taste of this as well. So. I mean, like I said, brown nails are, or I could say also gumbo comes comes to mind. I could probably use this, pair it with gumbo. I mean, red, not gumbo, uh, red beans and rice would go good with this food pairing. So yeah, I'm, well, I'm a foodie at heart. 
like food and I try to pair things different different things with certain beers you know <clears throat> when I'm out to eat you know a, a, you know burgers and hot dogs or whatever ribs I try to pair with a certain beer but all cheap all just like hey just give me some water give me some water you know whatever oh nice multi very enjoyable very frothy um abv is just about right 5.4 percent nothing too over nothing too heavy uh i've looked at the website of black war what they have in terms of beers that again this is my first time trying anything from this company and so i'm like okay um but we have black warrior is the list of many 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 breweries here in the state of alabama and if you see my videos i ain't gonna go all of them but you know the ones that are well known very popular and that are that are popular outside of the state um uh good people i think they have a good penetration reach of, of terms of their distribution of beers um uh trim tab of course um uh that's also is in birmingham good people's based in birmingham as well so um i'm just naming out the ones that i know that they you can get outside the state of alabama you can get it in georgia you can get this in you know you know north carolina south carolina whatever you know and i think good people and um Um, I just mentioned the name just now. Trintab are probably the two that are, are more. And Avondale, too. I could also throw them in there. Um, in terms of their reach. Um, also, I think maybe fair to say Fairhope, too. I think you could get some of Fairhope, Fairhope Brewery beers outside of the state as well. But... But more so, good people is probably the more well known because it's a central location right there in Birmingham. Um, of course, I sixty five runs through there, so it goes all the way up to Indiana. I sixty five goes down to so so those state those name so going through that that highway into those states further up, whether it be you know Kentucky, Missouri, Indiana, whatever, whatever. Good people is pretty much known. Um, <laughs> so, any event, nice, frothy, very enjoyable, very good brown ale. And um, as I mentioned, the food pairings you could pair this with you know, would go well with this. So, don't do don't drink a lot of brown ales a lot. Of course, as I tell what I tend to consume, uh, but. This couldn't uh, hold its own, so as you see, I'm about down to the final s swallow of this. So I'm gonna go and give this beer an A uh, for the style. So very enjoyable, not heavy, easy drinking, good brown ale. So Broad Street Brown from Blackwater Brewing Company, well done. So I'm gonna give this an A. Hmm. John Henderson Pierre, the Beverage Ramble Team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Brown, Boston, brown, 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 brown.